Okay. Um, as was mentioned last week, um, if, you, if you were here, you uh, know that Ian and Sharon got up and told us a bit about Gareth's trip to Moldova in the summer, and he's looking for sponsorship. So he's doing a sponsored walk on Saturday, the 11th of June. The sponsor sheets and flyers and information are oh, oh, available. <laughs> Hello, Tommy. Are you alright? Oh, hello, Mrs. Bamba. Sorry if I eat you up, should you? Don't mind me. Mom says I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> but I'm not tired. Sorry. I'll try not to scratch you again. Sorry. Thank you, Tommy. Say hi to your mum for me, will you? Okay, Mrs. Bamba. Good night. Night, Tommy. Stay cool. I'll try. On the 12th of June, we're having a family service here. Um, if anyone would like to bake a cake, <laughs> <call me up. laughs> if anyone would like to bake a cake to serve you coffee after the service, then um, that would be, be great. Uh, I'll put that on the notices for next week. <laughs> Mom, I'm thirsty. Can I have a glass of water, please? You had your chance, Tommy. It's bedtime. Not time. <laughs> and if you could have uh, as much help as we can at the end of the service this morning, we've got to be out of the building by one o'clock. So if everyone can give a hand putting things away, that'd be great. Mrs. Bamba says hi, Mom. <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. <laughs>
Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Do you really mean that? Of course I do. Why shouldn't I? Right. So what are you going to do about it? Do? Nothing as far as I know. I just think it would be great if you got control of everything down here and you have up there. Have I got control of you? Well, I go to church. That is not what I asked you. What about the habit of telling lies you have? And your bad temper? You've really got a problem there. Then there's the way you spend your money. And what about the kind of books you read? That's a bit harsh. I'm just as good as some of those hippo critters down there at the church. Excuse me. I thought you were praying for my will to do. If that is to happen, it will have to stop with the ones who are praying for it. Like you, for example. Oh, uh, all right. I guess I do have some hang-ups. Now you mention it, I could probably name some others. So could I. <laughs> I haven't thought about it until now, but I really would like to cut out some of those things. I'd like to, you know, be really free. Good. Now we're getting somewhere. We'll work together. You and I can have some victories that can truly be won. I'm proud of you. Look, Lord, I need to finish up here. This is taking a lot longer than it normally does. <laughs> Give us this day our daily bread. You need to cut down on the bread too. You're overweight as it is. Hey, wait a minute. What's this? Criticise me today? Praying is a dangerous thing. You could wind up changed, you know. You called me, and here I am. It's too late to stop now. Keep on praying. I'm interested in the next part of your prayer. Well, go on. I'm scared to. Scared? Of what? I know what you'll say. Try me and see. Okay. Forgive us our sins. As we think it goes to sin against us. What about Billy? Oh, I knew it. I knew you'd bring him up. Well, he's told lies about me, cheated me out of money. I'd sworn to get even. But it's not much fun carrying the load of bitterness around inside, is it? No, but I'll feel better as soon as I get even. Boy, have I made some plans for old Billy. <laughs> yeah, I wish he never did me any harm. You won't feel any better. You'll feel worse. Revenge isn't sweet. Think of how unhappy you are already. But I can change all that. You can? How? Forgive Billy. Then I'll forgive you. Then the hate and sin will be Billy's problem and not yours. You may lose the money, but you will settle your heart. But Lord, I can't forgive Billy. Then I can't forgive you. Oh, you're right. You always are. And more than I want revenge on Billy, I want to be right with you. All right, I forgive him. Some way, somehow, show him the right way. There now. How do you feel? Not bad. Not bad at all. In fact, I feel pretty great. You're not through with your prayer. Go on. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Good, good, I'll do that. But stop hanging around the wrong places, wrong people, watching wrong films and television, playing on the wrong computer games. Don't use me for an escape hatch. I don't understand. Sure you do. You get caught in a bad situation. You get into trouble, and then you come running to me. Lord, help me out of this mess, and I promise I'll never do it again. Oh, I'm sorry, Lord. I really am. Up until now, I thought if I just prayed the Lord's Prayer every day, then I could do just what I liked. Go ahead. Finish your prayer. <coughs> For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. 
Do you know what would bring me glory to you? What would make me really happy? Oh, I'd like to. I could see what I mess have made in my life. And I could see how great it would be to be really one of your followers. You just answered the question. I did? Yes. The one thing that would bring me glory is to have people like you truly love me. Now that some of these old sins are exposed and out of the way, well, there's no telling what we can do together. Lord, let's see what we can make of me, eh? Yes, let's see. Cool. Better go to bed then, Mama Kim. <coughs> Good night, Lord. Good night, Tommy. Uh, Lord? Yes, Tommy? Go and get me a glass of water, could you? <laughs> Good night, Tommy. Good night. Good night, Lord. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you.